Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is SCL0320. I'm back at it again for actually a TV uh, show review. Um, I apologize because the last one I missed, the third episode, I didn't do a review for that, but I was like, I'm gonna come back for a fourth episode. So this one is a review on The Flash. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just read the synapses for you so I can kind of get an idea. It's a pretty heavy synapses, but I'm not gonna be too long. The Flash stops a robbery but the culprit put gets away after shooting a guard. The Flash chooses to save the man instead of following the criminals. Joe shows Barry a book of suspects that Barry identifies Leonard Snart as the leader of the group. Snart re, re, uh, revises the plan and steals a specific diamond and gets a boost that he gets his hands on a stolen cold gun that could kill Barry Allen. Um, so this, this one's actually introducing the villain, Captain Cold. So, I mean, I was like, okay, so this is going to be very interesting. I know it's going to be really CG heavy and stuff like that. So I was really intrigued to see how they were going to do with this one. Surprisingly, I really liked it because well, actually Felicity Smoke actually showed up from Arrow. I was like, what is Felicity doing in town? And just their interaction, like they have so much chemistry. Uh, that's really notable. Even when the when the first Flash uh, episode came up on Arrow before the spinoff and everything happened, I was like, okay, this is some serious competition for Oliver when it comes to Felicity. Because I knew back then that Oliver had seriously had like feelings for Felicity, but I was like, this noticeable chemistry between Barry Allen and Felicity Smoke. And so with this one, it's really interesting dynamic because you find out that the cold gun that Snark gets it actually comes from Star Labs, and you find out that one of the members is actually one that actually built it. And I'll say this, Harrison Wells was very mad at the person that actually devised it and created it. Um, but the funny thing about all of this is that cold gun, it literally pays the way between what's going to be the eventual villains uh, for the Flash and for the DC Universe with this team, this group that's working with Barry so closely. So it's really interesting. Um, one of the things I liked about this episode is probably Harrison Wells and the fact that you're noticing that his colors are really showing. Like when he got frustrated with the person that actually created the gun, you could tell like the desperation he has with trying to create Barry uh, the being this flash. And at the same time, you can tell like there's a, a darkness to him. And it's so noticeable. I, like, I don't get it, you know. The thing that was interesting dynamic was that Iris and um, Thawne, or which doesn't make sense, Eddie Thawne. If y'all don't know, never mind, I'm not going to talk about it. But Thawne is somebody that plays a serious role in Barry's future. That doesn't make sense why he's the girlfriend or the boyfriend of Iris. But I'm not going to go into all that. But it was kind of like a double day scenario that happened with Barry and Felicity because Barry and Felicity, they were regrouping and Felicity wanted to know everything about the powers. And it's so crazy because it reminds me of like a Smallville scenario because I remember back when Clark and Lana, they were going back and forth and Clark would show some other girl his powers and he would show Lana. And you can kind of tell like Iris wasn't really pushing too much. She's more so caring about like he needs to have this, you need to have the same kind of love and care after you. I'm like, do you not have these kind of feelings for me? I was like, I was like, if I was Barry, I'd be eating this all up inside. I was like, why, why, why? Um, but it was really good interaction, and it was a really funny scenario them having like kind of the fan few kind of interaction. Um, but I think probably the standout of this one, it shows. I mean, at first it ran, it came really corny. It really did show off really corny uh, with Wentworth Miller's character, uh, Leonor Snart. If any of y'all don't know, like Prison Break, he was one of the stars of that. Um, but with this role as Snart, by the end of it, I can see, okay, this is why they chose him for the role. But the beginning of it, I was like, he's just a jerk that actually kind of like looks the part, you know. And I mean, I was like, he's kind of corny and stuff like that. I was like, he's doing this and doing that. But by the end of it, I was like, okay, he's a threat. And he knows that he's a threat. And at the same time, he's very smart, very calculative. And by the end of it, he pays way to a whole nother villain that I didn't even see coming. That's why I really like this episode. Um, the only thing that I'd say about it is that the pros and cons. I'll talk about the cons first. The cons of this episode is that I felt when the detective, Mr. West, was going through and trying to capture um, 
snart. Like, I was like, dude, this dude, do you know what kind of gun he has? You already seen what he can do with the potential he has. And it was just like, it, it was kind of like a cop out kind of feel. I was like, dude, just stay back. Let Barry know, let the team know so they can find a way. Like, you cannot protect anyone doing this, you know? Um, but I can understand him doing, doing his job. And at the same time, he said he was mentally worried about the relationship with his partner because he didn't want something to happen to his partner. And at the same time, he was thinking about, like, his daughter. And so, I mean, I can understand, you know? Um, but the pros. There is a scene with the Flash in this episode that I was like, my jaw dropped. And it, it, it encompasses a, <clears throat> a train derailment um, because beginning of the episode, Barry has an incident that he doesn't know if he can stop something. And he's kind of, in a sense, he fails uh, due to the effects of the cold rape, you know. Um, but this part, like, I was, like, blown away. And I think that even with Felicity's presence being there, letting the group know that they have to work as a team, they have to do this, they have, they're a unit, you know? And at the same time, they're a family and they have to understand that dynamic. I think that her being there kind of refortifies everybody else's stance as being a family, but when it comes to Harrison Wells, I don't trust him. And if he's the center and the lead of trying to stick these people together, he's holding back so much and he's got such darkness on him. I was like, these people are either going to, one, be the ultimate team or they're going to be divided together. And I think the eventual, most people know that they're not going to be together. And so I really like that Cisco had a really big role in this one. It showed more of his character. It gave him more dramatic feel as opposed to him being like the funny, goofy one. Uh, and it was the same thing with... Um, What's his name? The lady that actually works with Cisco as well. She did a good job. The last episode, I loved her storyline and her story arc, talking about her husband and her opening up to Barry. And it's kind of like a tension going on with them. But at the same time, it all meshes very well. And by the end of the episode, I really enjoyed the end of the episode. And even like her, his interact, the final interaction with Felicity and Barry in conjunction to Oliver. I was like, it all goes full circle and I love it, you know. Um, so I'd give this episode maybe an 8 out of 10 just because I felt like the first part of it was kind of weak. Um, but I might rewatch it again. I might enjoy it more. But hopefully y'all really enjoyed the episode. Definitely go check it out on CWTV.com. Um, I believe if you have Hulu Plus, it'll actually be on Hulu Plus tomorrow as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed my review of this. But yeah, when y'all see that scene with Barry and the train derailment, y'all gonna, y'all all, you're, I promise you, y'all gonna die. So, um, yeah, please leave any comments you have below, and uh, definitely, y'all have a great one, and look forward to me doing another review for uh, Flash next week, and also Gotham. And I may try to do a review for Constantine, it depends on how Baco down I get, I just found out that laptop's not working, so that shuts things down a little bit. <laughs> Anyway, y'all have a great evening, great day, good night. I'm out. Deuces, everybody. <clears throat>